Okay. <laughs> Wait, now? Yeah, you're good. Hi. Oh, hi, I'm Allie and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Marissa and I'm a sophomore. I'm Troy and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Michael and I'm a first year student. Hi, I'm Nina, I'm also a first year student. And I'm David, I'm a third year student. Hi, I'm Morel and I'm a third year student. I'm Sebastian, I'm a sophomore. I'm Gabrielle and I'm a sophomore as well. How do I get to Chicago? Um, there's a few ways that you can get into the city. Uh, the way that I take the most is the L, and you take the purple line to the red line, and then you're in the city. Uh, we also have the really convenient inner campus, which takes you right to the Chicago campus of Northwestern, where the med school and law schools are. I take it every Friday when I work my job at Feinberg, um, and it takes like 40 minutes, and it's free, and it stops at a bunch of places on campus, and takes you right down to Michigan Avenue, where there's a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, if you're really in a hurry, you can take the Metro, which takes probably like 30 minutes. Um, I take it when I'm trying to go home on the Amtrak, because uh, it takes you really close to uh, Union Station. What do I do if my roommate and I have different schedules? Well, I think I can definitely talk to this one, um, because my roommate and I very much did have very different schedules. And what worked for us was we knew each other's class schedules, and we made deals like at this time of the room, I need quiet. At this time of the day, uh, I want to be able to have friends over. So just keeping those open communication lines with your roommate is really helpful. Right. I think it's also just about like compromising because you're not going to always be able to get what you want. So learning how to like change your schedule according to other people's schedules is an important skill that you learn in college. It's actually kind of a good thing if you have different schedules because then you have different times when you're, you know, in the room and. Um, you can invite friends over when they're not there, but of course, again, just communication. It's really not a big issue. Like, I mean, having a roommate can be really, really fun, so it's going to be a great time to get to know your roommate. Like, if it is a great time, it's also totally normal, too, and like, you learn from it regardless. What do you binge watch on Netflix? Ooh. Yeah, that's a good Ooh. one. Well, oh, I'm going with the classic Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm going with Game of Thrones. It's not on Netflix anymore. Book it try. Book it try. Anyway, well, let's see. I've I've binge watched so many shows, but right now I'm binge binge watching uh, Hunter X Hunter. Ooh. Stuff. Yeah. 